Hello. Today we will tell you about VAS Experts BNG solution. Stingray Service Gateway is a complex software product which includes BNG, DPI, CGNAT solutions. Deep packet inspection allows you to detect the type of traffic flow passing through, based on its signatures, and upload statistics using the NetFlow protocol. An additional QoE analytics module allows you to gather these statistics, visualize it and build reports. It is important to note that when we talk about BNG DPI CGNAT, we mean a single all-in-one SSG solution, where options are activated by the purchased license. We will focus on licensing in more detail at the end. SSG is implemented in network core between aggregation layer and border router. The solution includes two main components, DPI and PCRF. The main component is DPI. DPI provides analyzing and processing of traffic that passes through the platform. The main tasks of DPI are applying policing and services like CGNAT, allow lists, filtering by block lists and others, exporting statistics by NetFlow, NAS functions which means authorization by IP or MAC addresses. The PCRF component is responsible for the platform interaction with the operator's billing system via the RADIUS protocol which is used for AAA. Authentication, authorization, accounting. PCRF is used if the SSG has BNG function enabled. The advantages of such architecture. The combination of L2, PPPoE, DHCP, ARP, and L3, IPoE modes with traffic termination give more flexibility. DPI function allows BNG to implement intelligent tariff plans with QoS and applies allow lists based on hostname, URL including domain mask. Full radius support with change of authorization and radius accounting. PCRF synchronizes multiple BNGs and reduces downtime and billing load. All user data is stored in a local database on the server. Let's take a closer look at the BNG operating modes. IPOEL3 BNG interacts with subscribers via intermediate routers, so it doesn't see the original MAC addresses, and subscribers already have assigned IP addresses. IP addresses in this scheme are assigned statically or via the dedicated DHCP server. The subscriber's traffic can be terminated, which means VLAN tag change, or not. L2 mode means that the subscriber and the BNG are in the same broadcast domain, where the SSG works with all requests. L2 subscriber traffic is terminated on SSG and transmitted to border router with VLAN and MAC changed. These parameters define the IP addresses of the service elements involved in the client authorization process. These parameters define the BNG1 interface. These parameters define the interface on the border where the traffic will be directed. In the current version, BNG does not announce the served subnets and NAT pools. Therefore, you need to configure the static route from the border to the one SSG interface. Here are the options for authorization. We can see that in case of MAC authorization BNG L2 has two options. First, we use DHCP relay mode when we have dedicated DHCP server. SSG acts as a relay agent for DHCP requests from user equipment to DHCP server. Second, DHCP radius proxy mode can be used to deploy networks without DHCP servers, for example when the user IP address, other DHCP settings and all the necessary information can be obtained from the radius server. Let's present all BNG modes in a table form. If the operator doesn't use radius, then it is possible to implement the push method, when the billing system uses API to upload services and policies into SSG upon an event. All modes support VLAN and Q in Q encapsulation of subscriber traffic. For the radius proxy mode, option 82 is supported to send the switch ID and port number from which the request was transmitted to the DHCP server. In addition, the following options are available in L2 mode. IP source guard ensures IP and tag compliance to provide better network security. Local traffic interconnection is designed for interaction of local users within the BNG. Subscriber activity control is applied in order to increase user security and to reduce the risk of device hacking. BNG includes the ability to translate network addresses to reduce IPv4 address space usage. Carrier grade NAT assumes transparent operation of peer to peer protocols and online gaming. Paired IP address pooling, hairpinning, 
TCP UDP limits mechanisms are supported for a comfortable user experience on the internet and optimization of port usage. It is possible to collect the NAT logs locally or at the external collectors, using the IP fix protocol. All SSG features are distributed within three licenses. The base version only provides DPI functionality with total bandwidth service. BNG includes the capabilities of the base version and implements the authorization functions. All options are available in the complete version. Let's look closer at the role of DPI in traffic processing. The SSG platform gives you the ability to manage quality of service on your network. DPI has eight classes for this, three bits of the type of service field in the IP packet. Classes are based on signatures and directions determined by autonomous systems. Autonomous systems are updated from the RIPE database automatically. Additional three bits of the type of service field can be used to mark traffic. As a result, we get traffic prioritization and an increase in quality of experience. Traffic prioritization is used in SSG at traffic policing. There are two mechanisms for bandwidth limiting. TBF. Bandwidth limiting with burst support in Cisco style, classic token bucket. HTB. Bandwidth limitation with borrowing. We recommend using HTB, because this increases the QoE of your subscribers. There are three types of policing, that can be applied at the same time in BNG. To the whole channel in order to limit and save the total bandwidth. Per virtual link, which is defined by a pair of ports or VLAN. Per user, by IP or login. Login can include a group of addresses or an entire subnet. One of the important functions of SSG is statistics export. BNG is combined with DPI, which makes it possible to determine traffic applications by signature. This information can be transferred to external collectors, using the NetFlow v10 IP fix protocol. PCAP recording or subscriber tracing are used for troubleshooting. To work with SSG generated statistics, we suggest using the QoE Store module in conjunction with the graphical user interface. QoE Store accepts NetFlow logs, then aggregates data and stores it. The graphical user interface provides statistics visualization. It has a set of built in tools, which can be customized. The system has triggers that automate and improve the quality of network monitoring. In conclusion, I would like to point out that it is easy to test our solution and get acquainted with its functions and work principles in one of three ways. First is using the operator's equipment. Second is on the hardware provided by a local system integrator. Third way to test is our cloud with VPN. We offer the test for free and for a period of at least a month. Thank you for your time. Contact us if you have any questions and for test request.